Italian America's Cup team Luna Rossa Challenge takes a victory on a flying catamaran in Austria. You're watching the Selling Updates Desktop News. Welcome to the office. The final day starts just as expected with ultralight conditions on the beautiful Lake Tronzo. However, the afternoon breeze comes in with a bang, quickly reaching 13 knots and providing near-perfect conditions for the championship's final races. The two America's Cup teams, Oracle and Lunarosa, are going head-to-head -head for the overall title. Cup's winning strategist Tom Slingsby is up against arch-rival Chris Draper, representing Lunarosa Challenge. As the fleet is getting ready for the second race, the hulls are flying and the boats begin tearing across the lake at breakneck speeds. Chris Draper once again is leading from the leeward starting position and extends on the run. Having recovered from a poor start, Slingsby's crew demonstrates phenomenal boat handling around the leeward mark. The Australian ace would nearly catch Draper on the beat but not quite. Oracle Racing, skipped by Tom Slingsby, hands up in second place. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get the win today, and, but Luna Rossa were definitely the best team. They had a bit more time in the boats and it showed they were just clean around the course, better starts. And uh, today starts with a difference. Chris got away better than us and uh, yeah, he got the win comfortably. The Sardinia-based America's Cup team takes their 10th victory of the week, claiming the first ever foiling GC32 Championships as title. Just stoked to be racing again. It's, it's been, it was, the last cup was tough, you know, the whole way through it we knew we were behind and um, we did a great job with the AC World Series and, and it was just a little bit frustrating, the cup in itself. And, it's nice to be racing, it was nice to be racing on a level playing field and it's nice to be showing what we can do. And Capricious weather conditions for the Maxis during the Rolex Capri Selling Week. You're watching the Selling Updates Desktop News. Welcome to the office. With 100 feet Super Maxi Esermit Europa 2 and the Swan 65 Shell Up, the fleet covers both hands of the spectrum. The highlight of the week is the Volcano race, however the conditions are very difficult on the way back from the Stromboli. The leaders are lucky and Esermit Europa 2 gets line owners ahead of G2. The wind disappeared behind them and the rest of the fleet spent another night at sea. Lupa of London will remember the nine hours completely parked in front of the Stromboli. Following two days of virtually no win in Capri, the weather god gives a nice break to the competitors. The next race looks like a perfect trip for tourists. The world of sailing in two minutes flat is next. While the protocol for the next America's Cup is finally released, the prestigious Blackbird who won the Cup in 2010 joined the Oracle headquarters in Redwood, California. A huge and strange chopper carries the giant multi hull to the small lake, located just in front of Larry Ellison's office. Meanwhile, the defender meets the challenger of record in Sydney, Australia. The training camp is intense and the regattas between the AC-45s are tight. Thomas Coville launches his new double XLC monster. The former Geronimo has been bought by Team Sodebo. Following a tight sea trial period, Thomas will be competing in the next Route du Rhum. The 45th edition of the Figaro's Prologue is won by Jeremy Bayou. The skipper masterfully leads the short course laid in front of Deauville. Meanwhile, Claire Prevost crashes into Isabel Josque at the Windham Mark. The two women retire from racing. After a month of preparation, the first event of the Imoka Ocean Masters leaves New York in the US. Only five boats are registered for this North Atlantic Express crossing towards Barcelona in Spain. With 194 participants, including some of the great names in ocean racing, the Armand race becomes the must-sail French offshore event. 
Following just under 24 hours of racing, the Marty 50 actual skipper by Yves Le Blévesque crosses the finish line in La Trinité sur Mer as the winner. The Baldor Neuchâtel in Switzerland is sailed in very little wind. Spam and Gust take the lead of the Teamwork M2 Speed Tour after two events. Rendezvous next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing.